All right, today we're gonna make a salmon burger with yuzu truffle aioli. Before we get started, please hit that subscribe button and that bell to be notified. Let's go. Baby daddy's hot sauce, yuzu truffle hot sauce. We're gonna make a little aioli for our burger here. Let's open this up. And a little Japanese mayo inside. Basically at this point, we're gonna chop up all our herbs. We have some cilantro. The stem is all right, as long as we cut it pretty small. We have some green onion. Go ahead and cut that on a small round. And then we're gonna mix that into the bowl as well. Let's come with the pure, oh shh. Do a nice little mince. You can mince garlic however you like. You can mince it like a small onion. You can cut them into little planks or sheets and then mince them into small pieces. This is ginger. Give it a nice little peel and then cut it into a small piece. You can grate it as well. Grate it using a microplane. That works just as good. Here we have some sockeye salmon. We're just going to blot it pretty dry. And then we're going to half dice it and then half mince so, it. So what I like to do is I like to make a little hole on this end piece here. Just right through the... Right through the cooch. I'm going to stick my finger in there. And just make my way downtown. I'm only using about three quarters of a pound for these burgers to make two. The rest of the salmon, I'm going to salt it. Cure it for an hour and use it for poke the next day. I'm gonna take this salmon. We're gonna dice this piece into nice dices. Medium dice, about three quarters of an inch. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is to give us some nice texture. Work. Now for this mash, we're gonna go into smaller pieces. If you don't want to use your knife for this, you can go ahead and use a food processor if you would like. Generally, a food processor will work if you're making a larger so batch. I'm sorry, the minced and the diced. Now this is all gonna go into our bowl. We got some of the soy sauce here. This is that Golden Mountain seasoning soy. If you know about this, you know, gluten free. Just look for this little guy right here. You find them at any edge you market. Half a tablespoon of soy sauce in there. And we're also gonna give a dab of the Baby Daddy's hot sauce. Ooh, good thing I didn't pour it in there. Just a little drip. And we're scoring in, and we're gonna give it a nice little mix. A mix city do da, mix city day. Usually you add panko, but I'm gonna use, be using these rolled oats. This is gonna help bind all the meat here together. I have no idea what I got. We're gonna portion the patties into six ounce pieces. This smells like ridiculously good. I can't even explain what this smells like right now. This looks pretty freaking crazy. Pan sear the salmon patties in a little oil or butter. Give them a flip after two to three minutes on each side until nice and golden brown. Don't throw away that grease. We're just gonna use that and slop up all that delicious brown butter and salmon flavor into our potato buns. Onto the bottom bun, we're gonna add our yuzu truffle aioli and then garnish that with our delicious burger. It smells so good. And optionally, if you like a little spice, you can add more of the yuzu truffle hot sauce on top of that patty. Juice so, avocado. Before garnishing with an avocado. Here we're just gonna use a couple slices from a perfect avocado from Mexico. Uh, slice it into nice little ring shapes i guess and season that with a little bit of avocado. Boom, 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 boom. this is one of my favorite new lettuces now it's baby bok choy by arrow farms like spinach but juicier this leaf is so juicy we're just gonna put it on top and not even dress it because there's so much juice inside this leaf it's incredible Use a truffle burger using Baby Daddy's hot sauce. The last dab. <laughs> 